Oh, Mr. Judge, did you know who Cecil was all the time? I knew he wasn't any starving Armenian as you pictured him. <laughs> oh, Judge, you just slay me. <laughs> well, well, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't say these were the only clothes I had. That's right, you didn't. The young lady did. Yes, sir. <laughs> and you knew all the time. My goodness, but you're smart. But then I guess that's why you're a judge, isn't it? <laughs> Sally, please go back and sit down. Go way back. I will not. I like the judge, and I want to be near him. Sally, you'll get me a life term yet. Now, don't you bother, Cecil. I'm going to fix things for you. Yes, that's what I'm afraid of. You still haven't told me, young man, why you are rigged up in that outfit. Well, you see, sir, it was Sally's idea. She <laughs> was the one... Yes, it was my idea. I thought that if he had to go to jail, he'd better wear some old clothes. You know how jails are on nice clothes. <laughs> yes, sir, that's it. You see, I was, uh... Oh, working on my car this morning, and I just thought that if I had to go to jail, I'd better keep the old clothes on. That was real clever of Cecil, wasn't it, Judge? <laughs> oh, he's so clever, you've no idea. I have an idea that there is more to this than you let on. Now tell me, just what is behind all these conflicting stories? Oh, well, that's all there is. <laughs> there isn't some more. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir, that's the truth. Do I have to go to jail? It is my duty to pass some sentence. But what makes you think that you have to go to jail? Oh, doesn't he have to go to jail? I don't have to go to jail? Why, no, you won't have to. Oh, Cecil, you're free. Oh, Mammy, what a break. But you'll have to pay a little fine. Oh. Oh. Wouldn't you rather pay a fine and go to jail? Oh, yes, sir. I'd rather. Well, let's see now. The established fine for these charges is, uh... Hmm, why, it's only $45. Well, I hope I have a nice warm cell. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know you, Judge. You're just joking, aren't you? Well, if I am, the joke seems to be on the young man. But, but you really mean it? Oh, won't you go kind of easy... Why, what else can I do? You could let him go. May I ask you why you are so interested in this young man? Well, I... Well, I... Um, he, he's a oh, friend of mine. Oh, but Judge, gosh, $45? Well, that's a million. No, I think when you study it, you'll find that it is just $45. Yeah, but what'll I use for money? Don't you see? He hasn't any money. I guess that's part of the story you were telling me at first, too. Well, it won't work. But, it, but it's the truth, honest. Cecil, have you got any money? Just five dollars. That's all I have. Well, the law says either the money or a jail sentence. But wouldn't the law take five dollars and be satisfied? I'm afraid not. Oh, Judge, I won't go fast again. Honest, I won't. Oh, you're such a nice judge. You wouldn't send him to jail, would you? Gee, what do you want to do that for? Haven't you got a heart? You're just holding up the procedure of the court. It's not what I want to do. It's what I have to do. Oh, you really don't want to lock him up, huh? I do not. There is nothing I would like better than to see him go free. Well, why don't you give yourself a good time and let me go then? Young man, I am elected by the taxpayers. I cannot conscientiously misuse their money. It is my duty, not my desire. Oh, gosh... The taxpayers aren't going to miss just one little fine. I'll bet there are a lot of fines that they never even see. Are you casting any reflections on this court? Oh, no, sir. <laughs> oh, um, oh, Judge, of course not. Oh, no, she didn't mean anything. But I can't go to jail. And why can't you? Well, well, you know, I, uh, I think I have smallpox, and it's liable to spread to the other prisoners. Oh, so you're developing a disease, huh? No, sir. I didn't say I, I, I had him. I, I said that I thought I had, maybe. I'm sorry. Now I have to make this short. Have you the money to pay your fine? No, sir. Well, I would like to let you go. But the sentence calls for ten days in jail. Please, can I say something first? You may say anything that would tend to help the case. Now, Sally, you better keep still. You'll just make it worse. Well, Mr. Judge, you could let him go if you thought it was your duty, couldn't you? If it were my duty to let him go, scot-free, I would do it. But I cannot in that light. Well, uh, it's a long story, but, but it's like this. Sally, what the heck are you going to do? I'm going to tell him your life story. 
What is it you wish to say? Well, it's this. You have no right to make Cecil go to jail because there's a reason. And what is this reason? Well, it's a good reason, and it's this. Well, if you only knew it, you'd let him go. Will you hurry and disclose this reason? Sally, what are you getting at? Well, it's like this. Well, it's your duty to let him go because, well, because it is. Are you making up some reason? Oh, no, sir. Oh, (laughs) why should I? (laughs) What is the reason? Quickly. Well, it's this. You see, I, uh, it's a long story, but, well, Cecil shouldn't go to jail. It's all a mistake. Young lady, can you make this as brief as possible? Oh, yes. You know, Judge, well, suppose you had a son of your own. I have a son of my own. Oh, really? Well, imagine, Cecil, he has a son like you. Isn't that nice? What's his name, Mr. Judge? Maybe we know him. His name need not enter into this case. Go on. Oh, yes. Well, <laughs> let's see now. Where was I? Oh. oh, I was telling you Cecil's life story. What bearing has his life story on this particular offense? Well, he wasn't raised right. He's always been reckless, but it isn't his fault. His grandfather was that way. Sally, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Cecil, I'm fixing it for you. Oh, so this isn't the first time he's been reckless. Oh, no. You see, he doesn't know how reckless he is. So, you see, it really isn't his fault. He can't be blamed. I think it's time he realizes how reckless he is. You see, he fell on his head when he was a little, and and it isn't his fault. Judge, you wouldn't believe it, but when he's driving a hundred miles an hour, he thinks it's only about twenty. He doesn't know the difference. It's not his fault. Did I understand you to say that he is in the habit of driving through the streets a hundred miles an hour? Oh, yes, sir. He does it all the time, but he's very careful. Sally! Why, she's crazy, Judge. She's the one that fell on her head. Young man, you keep still. All right, young lady. Let's get at the bottom of this. Go on. Well, it's a sort of disease. Speed, it's like sleeping sickness. He doesn't know it, and... Well, you wouldn't arrest him for anyone for having sleeping sickness, would you? I'd put them where they could be cured. Well, Cecil is like that. Oh, will I get you alone, darn it. Cecil, I'm going to get you off. Well, you're off. You're completely off. Go on. Stop whispering. How long has this been going on? Oh, he's been this way for years. You see, if he knew he was going fast, he wouldn't do it. It's just he doesn't know, and that isn't his fault. It's just that he's sort of crazy that way. So you see, it's your duty to let him go, see? Because he's not responsible. Isn't that plain? Can we go now? Just a minute. You say that this young man is in the habit of tearing through town in his car because he doesn't know any better? Yes, that's it. Sort of disease. (laughs) Well, it's high time he learned better. Yes, I'll see that he takes some medicine. Now are you going to let him go? You see one... Ow! Oh, my leg! Young man, did you kick her again? No, sir. I mean, she was going to say some more, she's crazy. Why, my car won't go over 50. If it'll go that fast, why, she was just, just... That's enough of these alibis. You're a menace to public safety. You should be in an asylum. Are you going to let him go? (laughs) I knew you would. I am not. He needs to be locked up to protect the lives of our citizens. I am wondering if 30 days in jail could make you realize the difference between 20 miles an hour and 100 miles. 